Wait a minute, somebody out there. Listen, 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 they don't the audience voting standing right. up done and I think this, this is a politicians. this All is right. a real person who works for a living. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't? Go right ahead. <laughs> As a matter much. of fact, I can testify to that. I'm a moderate centrist Democrat. You guys in Sacramento are doing a good job. You're really confused. A moderate but, centrist but, Democrat. But, 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 but an endangered As a member, species. As a no, a non existent <laughs> species. Go ahead. Michael, Michael, hold it just a second. I want to talk about the bash. I don't want to talk about that goddamn show at KCRA. Nobody came here to see that. They want to talk about the bash, the years. Yeah, okay. absolutely, Gene. The years in which we've done the bash, we've done some interesting things. Look at that. That's a group of people who performed for us. That's a rehearsal, and it's amazing how these people put it together. Come on, move that a little faster, those home movies. There you go. You remember those two people. You remember those two people. And then quickly move to the next one, because in this book, they're just floating in and out. You remember that kind of set? And now watch what happens when a leader shows up. Come on, move with the tape. Come on, move. Move with, there you go. With the tape much faster, and then we roll right away. That's a leader. Some of you remember that. It was incredible, the kind of bashes we used to have, rehearsals at Maylee Tom's house. And then as I look, and then, of course, you get the impression that something really unusual is about to occur because there's those rappers. That was one of the worst performances ever in the history of the bash. One of the most delightful, though, was the Soul Men. You remember those guys? It was Truex and the group. And then, of course, all of this had to do with how people really prepared. And this was, look at those leg kicks. I'm not moving at all. You would think that they're, you would think I was white in that one. Uh, and then there's, of course, one of those great ones that we did out at the Woodlake Inn, the place that preceded this one. And then if you move very quickly to another one, you'll see some of the clip shots from the things that occurred when all of these bashes occurred. Over the years, the bashes have been, John Mello, look at him. He's the guy who precedes one of the bashes, and that was interesting to do. And then, of course, we have that collection of members. Judge, you know who he is, Lord Conley, who's doing his thing in those days, and right next to him is Byron Shear, his seatmate is Willie Nelson. And then, of course, the people who are backstage doing the number that they're supposed to do in the outfits that they're in. And then, of course, those charming shots of people obviously doing whatever they do in the bash in between the shows and when they do the numbers. And then, of course, we have those incredible cowboys. As I look in this album, and you see there's Rusty Ray of Steve Clute and Jim Costa doing the numbers they're doing. And then there, of course, the man himself doing his movement, Bill Leonard and Joanne Moore in the background. That was something to see. And then, of course, you move on to Dominic Cortese, Jack O'Connell and that crowd when they did what they did. And as we float through, we see some of the interesting sights and sounds on the side. That's Tammy and, of course, Debbie, who used to work for us. And then, of course, you'll see very quickly somebody in the back room dressing somebody else. And that, of course, was one of the people who performed in the bash. And then for the first time in your life, you'll realize that Ray Charles can actually see, because in this next clip, it's Ray Charles reading the music. And that was Curtis Tucker, and of course, our friend Jerry Eves doing exactly what he should do in the numbers. And then very easily you move to Billy Redlin. And I don't know who that is, but that was one of Billy's flings in those days, I assume. And, and then of course you move very near the next scene, and you get Brunson doing hot, hot, hot. You remember that? He was wild. And then Mike Roos, old blue eyes himself. Mike has gotten to the point where Sinatra sounds like Roos, and Roos looks like Sinatra. And then there's, of course, Dick Floyd doing what he does best, playing with the ladies, Sarah Bracera and Alita, doing their number. And then right next to it, you have some of the things that occurred in an interesting way at many of the bashes that we have. The bashes have just been something extraordinary. You see Elihu Harris doing his number as the man who would be a queen, who would be our friend Stevie Wonder, and then Bruce Brunson interviewing the maestro himself in what we did at that time called Fourth Line. Bruce conceived most of this stuff. Another scene from that incredible experience we all had together called uh, We Are the World. And then finally, you move towards the end, and as we stroll through the process of doing a course line, you arrive at the point where Dream Girls, Diane Watson, May Lee Tom and Gwen Moore doing their thing the way they did that thing. That was one of the highlights. And then this one, of course, was 
one of those times when all the people went back to hot, hot, hot and did it all over again. And then, of course, you move quickly into the finale. And that was when we did it out at the Arco Arena, and it was an unusual kind of thing to do. And as usual, I'm the master of ceremonies, and this is the last picture, and I'm sure are you. And tonight, we're doing a reunion. The bashes are all the kinds of things that we did when we were here and that you've done with us. And I'm going to show you some of the clips that we've kept over the years. And it's been unusual. It's been fun. It's been good. And how about my guy with Gwen Moore? You have that spot? Let's see that spot. You remember this. And if you love it. Nothing you can say can take me away Gwen Moore doing God. my guy. And of course, we moved very quickly to the summer of love. Richard Polanco, Richard Robinson was always very straight. Look. I know you'd love this. I knew you'd love Richard Polanco doing what he does best. All right, look at it. Jackie Spear. Oh. Bev Henson, look at that. Oh. <laughs> ah. Right on. Do it, Beverly. And that was from the summer, that was from the summer of love. And now watch this one. You won't believe what happens with Chuck Calderon and Cool in the game. And it was absolutely incredible when he did this. And it was like you wouldn't believe. Come on, people, move with the tape back there, please. These guys have been working for about 10 years to get this shit together and look at them. <laughs> it is unbelievable. Michael Glicio, you're fired. We gonna celebrate your party with you. Come there it is. Now watch this, you won't believe it. Now, now, tell the tape, I, I got a treat for you. I'm bringing Cool and the Gang back. Cool and the Gang. This is the new version. Let's all sell 
jump in the game. Oh, Dan Hauser, Bob Eppel, Bev Hansen, the whole game. All right, all right. Jack O'Connell, doing it another. Richard Polanco, you are doing it right. You know, Chuck and the gang, Chuck and the gang was better this time than they were all those years ago. The bashes started like in 19, I suppose, 81, 82, and it was at the Senator Hotel. We had all kinds of things going on at that time, and people wanted to do something interesting. And then, of course, the bashes evolved, till finally Bruce Brunson came along. In about 1985 or 86, he came up with this great idea of putting us on stage letting us do something to somebody else's words if we added a little bit of spirit and a little bit of soul. Tonight, we're bringing you back some of those people. You remember one of the bashes in which three cowboys showed up. I think at that time it was Arias, Costa, and Clute, and they did something called I'm for Love, and it was a fabulous performance. Let me show you just a little bit of the clip from I'm for Love. Maestro, if you'll roll a little bit of the clip. Mothers against drunk drivers, the Pope is against the pill, the unions against the workers, working against their will, the president's against the Congress, the Senate is against the House, people are against politicians, and I'm against cats in the house, but I'm for love. fishing in the rain, but I'm for love, I'm all for happiness, and I'm for, if you don't like it, can't you just let it pass, and I'm for turning off the tube and turning down the lights, and I'm for nothing else but me and you tonight, hey, I'm for love, I'm all for happiness, and I'm for Something to make us mad I'm all for turning off the news And turning down the lights And I'm for nothing else But me and you tonight <laughs> Richard Katz Dick Floyd and Jim Costa, the new Cowboys. You know, we've been very careful to select, frankly, my favorites from all the previous bashers. And that was one of the favorites. We were only able to get one of the old timers back, Jim Costa. Clute's running for Congress, and uh, I frankly don't have any idea where Reyes is tonight. But he told me today, if the chaplain's job is open next year, he'll take it. <laughs> you know, one of the things that happened at one of the bashes several years ago, um, Bill Campbell and Sally Tanner showed up, and they did something from Gigi. It was, uh, I remember it well. And many of you have told me that if we're going to do something about a bash again, we really ought to bring Sally and Bill back. Campbell had no choice. He works for uh, CMA and 
two of their bills are still pending on the floor. And Tanner, of course, enjoys an appointment uh, from my office from Ferndale, which is at pleasure. Two of the old timers, I remember it well. But first, let me show you a clip. Let me show you a clip from the first rendition. Come on, Maestro, let me see the clip. I remember everything as if it were yesterday. We met at nine. We met at eight. I was on time. No, you were late. Ah, yes? I remember it well. We dined with friends. We dined alone. A tenor sang. A baritone. Ah, yes. I remember it well. That dazzling April moon. There was none that night. And the month was June. That's right. That's right. It warms my heart to know that you remember still the way you do. Ah, yes. I remember it well. How often I've thought of that Friday Monday. night. When we had our last rendezvous And somehow I foolishly wondered if you might By some chance be thinking of it too That carriage ride You walked me home You lost a glove I lost a comb ah, Yes, I remember it well that brilliant sky. We had some rain. Those Russian songs. From sunny Spain. Ah, yes, yes. I remember it well. You wore a gown of gold. I was all in blue. Am I getting old? Oh, no. Not you. How strong you were. How young and gay. A prince of love in every way. Oh, yes. I remember it well. Wasn't that tremendous? <laughs> Sally Tanner, come on, open my mic. Open my goddamn mic. Open my mic, please. Open my mic. Open my mic. Open my mic. Open my mic. All right. Wasn't that incredible? <laughs> Sally Tanner and Bill Campbell. The reunion is really on us. Did you see the reunion poster? It was a kind of an interesting dig. Somebody said, when did Mama Cass serve in the legislature? Well, I frankly didn't dare put anybody's head on Mama Cass's body. <laughs> I'm not that secure in my own right. But you know, the posters are always great. You go to the grill, you see there's a whole collection of the posters. Some people actually have all the posters. Let's take a look. Where is the music for the posters? Where is the music for the posters? Where's the music for the posters? You remember all these posters? There's the one with the reunion. Now let me tell you what we did that was really kind of interesting. We decided some time ago to do t-shirts. Many of you buy the t-shirts. Some people have whole collections of the t-shirts. We went around the country when we decided to do this show and we asked some very famous people, how about putting on our T-shirt? And they did. And watch this, how many can you identify?
electronically, you can do almost anything. And if you saw for Forrest Gump, you know that that is, in fact, all possible. But those T-shirts are really treasures. Some people have an entire set. Others have only a few. Uh, for those of you who don't have a set, the ones that are out of print, they're a little more expensive than the ones that are in print. But I can get one for you if you choose to do it. Now, we did one show at the Aqua Arena, and Sonny Mojene did something with Trice Harvey and Bob Campbell and Sam Farr and a whole collection of people called There's No Business Like Show Business. A little bit of that. How about rolling the tape on There's No Business Like Show Business? Let me take a look. The scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience, it lifts you when you're down. The headaches, the heartaches, the backaches, the flops, the sheriff who escorts you out of town. The opening when your heart beats like a drum. The closing when the customers won't come. There's no business like show business like no business i know you get word before the show has started that your favorite uncle died at dawn top of that your mind pie show business. Yeah, Sonny Mojene, Trice Harvey, John Mello. No business like show business. That's what it's all about. So we always bring you something back. And Earlier, when I was looking through the photo album, you recall that I touched on something. I talked about a show called Soul Man. That was done so many years ago, it's hard to remember when it happened. At that time, at that time, a guy named Tom Truax was with us. When I called Bruce Young and said, Bruce, we're doing the reunion, who would you think Truax would want to replace him? He said, tonight, Jim Caxey and Bruce Young are gonna do Soul Man for Truax. Before we do, let's see a little bit from the original Soul Man. Roll the tape.
Don't you think Tom Truax would have been proud? He would have loved it. He would have loved every second of it. You know, you know, in doing these shows, it, it, was, it was very difficult to pick out an act to do tonight from each one of the old shows because there were so many good ones. I'm going to show you two or three that I had to pass up that I really wanted to put in tonight's show, but it would have gone too long. You remember Sarah Becerra and Dennis Mangers when they did Money, Money, Money? You remember Dream Girl with Diane Watson in that crowd? I really wanted to put that in the show. Diane's the tall one. I mean, they went all out. Look at the wigs. The feathers Diane wears in church on Sunday. And then, of course, the next one you're not going to believe. Look at this. This was the course live. We really had a ball. Six weeks of rehearsal to put this together. That was really a wonderful one. But it was lots, lots and lots of hard work. It was choreographed by John Mello, put together by Bruce Brunson. The cast was, you know, we tried out lots of people, couldn't find anybody to really do it, and so those of us on the stage actually showed up and participated. And it was, frankly, lots of fun. One of the great things, though, one of the great things in Sacramento, you may, some of you may remember a place called Eilish's, and if you remember that they had a singer for many years by the name of Mike Roots, who performed at Eilish's almost every night. Some of you will remember that great occasion when Sammy Davis Jr. was in town. We took him over to Eilish's. Mike Roots performed for him. He was so appalled at the, <laughs> the lack of quality. He had him to turn the jukebox off, and then he did a cappello and Candyman. And that was a very treasured moment. But I've always been a Mike Roots fan. Frank Sinatra has always been a Mike Roos fan. And of course, there is nothing more interesting to watch old Blue Eyes work. Let me show you a clip from one of the old Blue Eyes performances. Roll the tape. She gets hungry for dinner, Annie. She loves the theater, doesn't come late. She'd never bother with anyone she hates. And that's why the lady is a tramp. Doesn't like dice games with barons and Now, herbs. you know I couldn't do a bash without bringing my man, Old Blue Eyes, back. He's older, grayer, fills out the tuxedo a little bit more, but the voice is just as good. And we even had Eilish come back and do her number. And so, Mike Rose as Frank Sinatra. She gets hungry. 
for dinner at eight. She loves the theater, doesn't come late. She'd never bother with anyone she'd hate. And that's why the lady is a tramp. Doesn't like dice games with barons and earls. Won't go to Harlem dressed in ermine and pearls. Will not dish the dirt with the rest of those girls. And that's why this chick is a tramp. She loves the free, cool wind in her hair. Life without care. She's broke, but it's hope. Doesn't like California. It's cold and it's damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. There for dinner at eight. She adores the theater, however, doesn't get there late. She'd never bother with someone she'd hate. That is why the lady is a tramp. Doesn't like dice games with barons and earls. Never makes a trip up to Harlem driving. Shiny Lincolns and Ford. She won't dish the dirt with the rest of those broads. That's why this chick is a tramp. She loves the free, fine, wild, knocked out, cuckoo, groovy wind in her hair. Life's without a care. She's broke, but it's hope. She loathes California. Cold and it's damp. That's why the lady. That is why the lady. That's why the lady is a tramp. Old blue eyes. Old blue eyes. Mike Rose. Hey, did you? Did you catch the scenes of eyelashes? The people were occupying the bar stools where they were born. I mean, you saw them, they were there every night. That was Ross Johnson, the whole crowd. They were there every night doing the same thing. Nobody ever paid eyelashes, that's why she went out of business. She had to retire. IRS would hang up with her. Now, you know, in all of the bashings that we've done, Bruce Brunson, has always been just the cornerstone. When Bruce left the legislature, the question was, what do we do for bashes? Last year, we let the new people put together the bash. Bruce had nothing to do with it. And uh, it didn't have exactly the Bruce quality. It was spectacular. There were some scenes that were out of this world, and they were only going to improve. But tonight, I brought Bruce back. And I brought Bruce's crew with him. Kathy Snodgrass, Joanne Moore. Bill Leonard, however, stuck down at the Capitol. And what did we do? We grabbed the best insert you could find for Bill Leonard, Luis Caldera. <laughs> trickle, trickle, and splash, splash. You remember that so well. Let's, let me show you. Splash, splash, tell me how long will this rain last? The rain keeps dropping, there ain't no stop.
Kathy Snodgrass, Joanne Moore, Bruce Brunson, and the new trickle, Louis Caldera. That was a big hit when Bruce first put it together. And I'm sorry Bill Leonard couldn't be here because all of you loved it so much. There were some other scenes and events from other bashes that we just didn't have time tonight to put them all in. But I want to share a couple of clips with you. Dominic Cortese and Jack O'Connell were just spectacular, along with Marguerite Archie Hudson and some others in Gilligan's Island. And if we can show that little tape. Now, the all-time favorite, and we ask all the people who've ever been involved in any bashes, what did you enjoy doing the most? And it was the one that we had most of the people in. And it was We Are the World. And tonight, we're going to do it again. There's some new players. You're going to enjoy each and every one of these players because they're all good. They've actually been rehearsing. We had rehearsal on Sunday night, and everybody showed up. But let me show you just a little bit of the clip from the old We Are The World and let you draw your own conclusions about this new crew. When we heed a certain call When the world must come together as one There are people dying Oh, when it's time to lend a hand to life we could go on pretending day by day that the 
we heed a certain call when the world must come together as one there are people dying oh when it's time to lend a hand to life the greatest gift of
the end of session back, 1994. Look at that. The soloists, the choir, the Porter sisters, the Jackson family, Harry Belafonte, James Ingram, just everybody. Just everybody. Did you love it? Did you love it? The end of session bash, 1994. Give them a round of applause. Look at all those costumes. Look at the makeup. Can you imagine John Vasconcellos? A man who did Lionel Richie proud. All the players. All right. As usual, the bash never ends with just this performance. There will be others. SRO is right there. And of course, they're going to play for a while, and then we're going to do some prize drawing. There's plenty of food. There's all kinds of things to do out there in the gambling arena. Now that gaming has been made legal by the Senate, Eisenberg and Tucker, we can play tonight for real money. All right, let's get the party started. It's probably a lady that didn't pay. Let's get the party, let's get the party started. SRO, Dick Bright in your band, go! Open Sesame!